On a snowy mountainside, Superboy and Robin brave through the cold. Their fathers have stripped away their capes and told the boys they will now be in boot camp until they prove themselves. Closely watched by both Batman and Superman, Bruce remarks that the kids will need to learn to work together if they want to earn the right to wear their colors. Some of the snow gives way and it nearly causes John to fall off a cliff, yet Damien refuses to help the young man. He knows their dads are watching and that Superboy won't fall for long if you let go. As John pulls himself up, he and Damien find some of their gear, and Robin can tell this means things are only just getting started. Maya appears behind them and attacks, having been recruited by Superman and Batman into helping with boot camp. Her sonic attacks cause John to lash out with his eye beams, accidentally causing a huge avalanche. Maya saves the boys, but Damien uses the opportunity to get his badge, a map, and plane tickets back home off of Maya. He then grabs onto a passing train and takes off on his own. Superboy moves to catch up, charging after the train, as he can still not fly, while Damien is suddenly attacked by Goliath. Superboy arrives and tries to help out, but the two boys stumble over one another. They then realize the train was a trap planted by Batman, and is about to crash. Worried, Alfred wants to call Superman in, but Batman insists they give the boys a chance. Sure enough, John thinks fast and gets Goliath to save them as the train crashes into the river. Batman is impressed by Superboy's resourcefulness, but the two still haven't worked together to solve a problem. Flying home on Goliath's back, the boys try and get some sleep. John asks Damien if he wants to be like his dad someday, a good person. Damien doesn't answer. Superboy then asks if they will ever be friends, and both agree that is entirely out of the question. The next morning, John and Damien wake up to find a hurricane right in front of them. The two try and steer Goliath out of it, but they bicker and ultimately Superman is forced to save them. Kal-El says it's not always easy to work together, but it's important for them to learn this now instead of during a real crisis. Since they didn't work together to beat a single challenge, Superman decides they can make their own way back to the Batcave and takes off. When the boys return, they find a mess in the cave and realize Batman and Superman have been captured by a strange creature. Superman knows he can break out, but Batman wants to see what the children will do. Faced with a real threat, the boys don't hesitate to work together. They try a few solutions before Damien remembers John just got his frost breath and directs him to use it on the creature. That works, and Robin is able to knock the beast into the river. Later, the fathers are proud to return their son's capes. Bruce and Clark then travel to Hamilton with the boys to cut down some Christmas trees for both families. Superman takes this moment to say both men should be proud of themselves. They have both raised great children. Bruce remarks that their fathers would be proud of this, and both men are happy to give toast to the boys. Of course, there's still a learning curve to all of this. Hello and welcome to Comic Island. My name is Arden, and this is my recap and review of Superman number 11. Well, this was great. Start to finish, this was a fun, polished piece. I like how once again the writing felt true to the characters. It was a great read, had a lot of fun little moments, and there's something I really like about a comic whose message I can sum up entirely as boys will be boys. It's the sort of story that would make for a great Saturday morning Superman or Batman cartoon, and that made for a great Superman comic overall. I had a lot of fun with this thing, felt like the story was very well explored and long enough in service for what they were trying to do, and overall I do recommend this issue. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, and be sure to check out our new Patreon page. Donors get exclusive content and all sorts of fun rewards. Thanks for watching this video, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.